Hello and welcome to part 3 of Jesse. In this episode, we are going to try examining the room. Right, we'll get a little nice look around. We haven't done that yet. The area is small but comfortable with nice lighting and a clean atmosphere. That's it? <laughs> well, that didn't amount to much. No. Let's see. Uh, let me see if I can be reminded of what happened in our notes. So yes, the victim was stabbed. We got some time. Well, that doesn't really help me too much in trying to remember what we were doing. I so guess we can move. Yeah, if we move, can we examine other things? To the things? hallway. Oh. Oh, what's he talking about? According to her ID badge, her name is Sarah Blackmore. She works for a nearby company called Biodev Imaging. Biodev Imaging. Okay. I peer around the corner to get a better look. He doesn't look very pleased. I really can't be sure. When will the crime scene investigators get down here? Well, I guess they're busy. Yeah, why have they not been here yet? I see. Well, get here as soon as possible, then. He hangs up before letting out a frustrated sigh. As he does, he sees me looking at him. Whoa, how long have you been there? <laughs> how much of that conversation did you hear? Uh, the end of it? Well, we'll be honest with him. I know, we don't want to get him angry with us, do we? No, we have to be honest. Um, the part about Sarah and Biodev Imaging. So, pretty much everything, then. I guess, if that was everything. I guess so. And do you have anything useful to tell me? <laughs> Not really. I guess. Sure. Chance says she saw Sarah coming in around two. Interesting. So, Sarah must have been killed sometime between two o'clock and two forty. Yes. The first thing to do is see if anyone has an alibi for that time period, then. Well, we were sleeping pretty much the whole time. <laughs> so now we have to go ask them all for their alibi instead of him doing it? How long was he in here for? I'm not sure if he told us what time he came in. I don't remember. I don't really have much more I can tell you. Keep digging. <laughs> Keep okay. digging. All right. So I guess you have to move. Can we examine this area? There are a couple of trendy paintings hanging on the wall. <laughs> yeah, right. Can we talk to him and like ask him where he was? when? He, what time he got here? I um... guess we can, but he probably doesn't have much to say. <laughs> End conversation. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I don't think we can go in the ladies' restroom. He won't let us, will he? I don't know. What about the men's room? Can we get past him and then sneak into the ladies' restroom? I know mm -hmm. we want to get to the body so we can do our examination thingy, but let's see if this works out. Okay, it did. It looks like the women's restroom, except for the dead body missing. <laughs> okay. Actually, it looks like there's an emergency exit in here, too. It's the kind that only opens from the inside. Of course. So someone can get out from here. Right. Is it that way in the woman's bathroom too? Because in that case, someone could have easily left. But they could have left through here too. Either way. Hmm. hmm. I bet the killer could have slipped through here without being seen by anyone in the coffee shop. <laughs> There's no one to talk to. Right. Of course not. Okay, um, let's go to the main area. See if we can talk to these people again. Well, Chance does work here, so maybe she saw a bit more than uh, she's told us so far. Maybe. Chance notices me looking at her. She giggles and waves at me. <laughs> How's it going? You got changed. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I called my manager and he said I should close for the day. So there's really no point in wearing my uniform Where anymore. did she get changed? I don't know. <laughs> in front of that. everyone? How did it we go? missed it. Darn. Gross. How did what go? Talking with that detective, of course. Did he say anything? Is it really okay to say what I'm that I'm supposed to question everyone? I don't think you should tell everyone you're supposed to be questioning them, should we? No, probably not. Nothing in particular. He just wanted me to not bother him. <laughs> okay. What do you mean by bothering him? Beats me. So... Oh, we have a lot of options here to consider. Who Maybe should we ask should about we start first? from the bottom up? Sure. Do you know anyone named Sarah Blackmore? I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names. Even if I did know her, I probably couldn't tell you. <sighs> And what were you doing between 2 and 2.40? Working, of course. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Afternoons like this are always slow. 
so it's usually just me and the manager. Where is your manager? Although my manager is currently out at the store. Mm. All right. Do we care why he went to the store? I don't know, maybe. Unless he did the crime and snuck out? It Let's could say. be. Why did your manager go to the store? We ran out of soy milk. I forgot to restock yesterday and he kind of got mad at me. Hmm, all right. I had to come out here and clean all the espresso machines as punishment. Hmm. Do you notice anything strange about Miss Bergstrom? Who? <laughs> you mean that woman who looks like she's mad at you? <laughs> the one who's still glaring off in the corner. Well, she definitely looked like she was in a hurry. In a hurry? Then again, she always does. She comes here often. Horace is lying. All the time. And she always looks like she's in a hurry. I guess she's a busy woman. All right, so she's just busy. Do we know what she does oh. for a living? Do you know what Miss Bergstrom does for a living? I'm pretty sure she works for Biodev Imaging. Oh. It's oh, just on snap. The street, so a lot of people who work there like to come by here. All right, so she has some link to the person that was murdered. I'm afraid I don't know exactly what she does, though. Of course you don't. Biodev Imaging. The victim, Sarah, worked there, too. It can't be a coincidence. And what about Kizaki? Who? <laughs> the uh, nerdy guy. The only one left. <laughs> that college kid. Oh, is that his name? I've never seen him before. Okay. Really? He said that he comes here all the time. He does? I'm pretty sure I haven't seen him before. Maybe he usually comes at some other Yeah, time? that's a valid possibility. Mm-hmm. Sure. But I don't recall him doing anything weird. He came in, set up, and spent all his time working on homework. I guess that's right. about all we can get out of her. Well, thanks for your help. I guess that's all I wanted to talk about for now. All right. Next time we see her, she's going to be changed again. <laughs> so should we talk with Kizaki? Sure. Miss Bergstrom's probably going to be a big one. I look over at Kizaki. He's still typing away at his computer. He's probably communicating with someone over the internet. Yeah. That's my guess. I guess even being at a scene of a murder is an excuse to turn in homework late. Is everything okay? He's very suspicious about his homework. He was trying to answer a question for us, but he didn't know how to answer it. What was it? Uh, what well, his what test was, was on. He studying? And it was Well, he was reading something in Japanese, and we just said, oh, is it Japanese? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> like, he just made up an excuse there. Yeah, it's fine. It looked like Detective Gursky was lecturing you about something. He's a pretty imposing guy. I guess. He doesn't seem particularly imposing. He's kind of friendly. Is he? It seems to me like he's just doing his job. I guess I'm just worried he's going to arrest me or something. <laughs> Why would you uh. worry about that unless you did something? Hmm. I'll tell him to relax. Relax. He won't just randomly arrest you, you know? Although I don't know if the same goes for me. What? Why would you say that? Oh, he looks stupid. confused. Nothing. Detective Gursky's threat to keep me in custody for 48 hours is still looming over my head. I'm really on a short leash. I'll go with this one first, because we don't know anything about Chance, really. Did you notice anything suspicious about Chance? The girl who works here? She wouldn't do anything. Hmm? Okay. Are you sure? Of course, she works here after uh, all. Okay. What does that mean? That didn't answer my question. Well, if you're wondering if I saw her do anything weird, I didn't. She was cleaning the espresso machines for a while. She didn't look too happy about nah, that. Nah, she's being punished after all. Then she went into the back kitchen, so I didn't see her. Oh, anymore. she went into the back kitchen. Is that where she went to get changed? If she were in the kitchen, she could have gone to the bathroom without you seeing her, right? I... Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. How's the kitchen set up? I don't know. I don't even see it from here. All right. Right about Miss Bergstrom. She's the most suspicious of them all. I'm afraid I didn't see her come in. I was busy working at the time. I didn't notice anything until I heard her scream. So she came in right before we got there? I guess. I mean, right before we uh, met her, I, I mean. Yeah, that's what we mean. What should I ask him? Uh, I don't know. He's not Between very helpful. Between 2 and 2.40. I guess we can ask them all this time. Yeah. Um, studying? He's trying to avoid something. I don't like him. But I'm not sure if it's related to the murder or not. Probably not. I was also chatting with a there friend. There you oh, go. See, he is chatting with someone. I knew it. Sometimes I get distracted. He's blogging about the murder. 
Do you know anyone named Sarah Blackmore? S Sarah. Uh oh. Oh, you knew her. Um. What? No, I don't think he I do. knew her. Obviously. Because he didn't know who was murdered, but when he heard the name, he must have just realized, and it's something he doesn't want us to know. Maybe she's which a means prostitute. he probably didn't do it because he was surprised. Yeah. So I don't think it's him. <laughs> wow, that's quite possibly the most guilty reaction I've ever seen. This guy would be terrible at poker. Yes, he would, but I still don't think he's the killer. No, because if he's the killer, then he'd definitely know who he killed. Yeah, I would assume. Or if he just killed someone randomly, he wouldn't know who that name was. Mm hmm So he knows her, but he didn't kill her, I don't think. No. But that's strange. Maybe he's a super good actor, and he's just pretending all of this nervousness. All right, then. <laughs> all right, here we go, Miss Bergstrom. I guess we should talk to her. I was going to tell uh, Gursky about the fact that she worked there, but we might as well talk to her first. I don't know if it'll be productive, though, because she doesn't really say much to us. She might. Miss Bergstrom is still across the room for me, brooding. Oh, boy. This isn't going to be easy. She wasn't willing to give me the benefit of the doubt earlier at all. I approached her carefully, holding my hands out in an attempt to show her that I mean no harm. Hey. What do you want? I just want to talk. Try to figure out what happened. She doesn't look convinced. Look, there are other people here. Nothing is going to happen to you. I just want to ask a few questions. Why are you even doing this? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Because... I want to find the killer. After a moment of silence, she lets out a long sigh. I guess it's okay then. What do you want to okay. know? We want to know everything. Alright, so we get the same questions. I want to see what her reaction is to the name Sarah. Do you know anyone named Sarah Blackmore? I can't say I do. Should I? Yes. But it is a big company, I guess. Maybe not. Hmm... That is suspicious. I mean, if it's a big company, it is possible she didn't meet her. But she could be more reserved than Kizaki and a better actress. Yeah. All right, let's ask about Chance. Did you notice anything suspicious about Chance? That barista? She's a sweet girl, if not a little unrealistic. Yeah, probably. <laughs> She'll talk about her dream of being a singer to anyone who will listen. So she comes in here quite often? Is that what Chance said as well? Yeah. Yeah, okay. She often gets livid when anyone says anything that doesn't coincide with her dream. But she's very cheerful otherwise. Maybe Sarah didn't like her All dream. Right. <laughs> really? Livid? She once tossed hot coffee at a customer for insulting her voice. Oh, wow. oh man. Hot coffee, huh? He only got a few burns on his arm, but I'm pretty sure she was aiming for his face. Oh, uh -oh. well... I guess you shouldn't insult her voice, then. And she didn't get fired for that. The whole thing was settled out of court, and the owner of this place is her father, ah. so naturally she ah. got her job. I see how it works. Nepotism. Honestly, kids these days just get everything handed to them on a silver platter. Whoa, what's the tone? It's totally frustrating. Jeez. Um, if you didn't notice, you're talking to a kid. And she doesn't look that old herself, anyway. Yeah, you probably got everything held handed down to you as well. At least your grudges, I suppose. <laughs> <sighs> yes, Kizaki now. He's just a bit off, but I don't think he's really a threat. I assume you mean that boy over there? He hasn't done anything that seems out of the ordinary. I can't really say one way or another, though. You're just suspicious of everyone, aren't you? Yeah, what were you doing between 2 and 240? <laughs> Need to get your alibi? <laughs> Around two, I think I was finishing up some work in the office. Then I headed out for a late lunch. I usually grab a sandwich and an espresso from this place. Were you with anyone else at the time? Of course not. Everyone else had already left for lunch. Okay. At two? I guess maybe she means like they had left already, like before lunch. Like at lunchtime they already left and she was going late. I don't know. I mean, obviously there's no one here to verify that, but is there anyone at her workplace that can be like, oh yeah, she was definitely there? I don't know. What did you order when you got here? Nothing. I went straight to the restroom, and then I saw you. You went straight to the restroom? So she still has to pee? 
Did she ever use the bathroom? Well, I guess she couldn't because of the dead body. No. Yeah, why did you head straight to the bathroom? I mean, I know we're going to get an obvious flippant answer and reply, <laughs> but whatever. Why did you go straight to the bathroom instead of ordering? I always wash my hands first. Oh. It's filthy to do anything else. And I can't exactly afford to be ill. Oh, okay. She's just a germaphobe. End conversation. All right, that wasn't very productive. I see. You see, all right. All right, let's talk to Gursky. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow, we have a lot of things to tell him now. Did you know that there's an emergency exit in the men's room? Yeah, I noticed that. There isn't an alarm on the door either, so it's possible that the murderer escaped through there without being detected. Wait, so you notice there's an emergency escape in the men's bathroom, and you let us go in even though we're the prime suspect <laughs> without watching us? Well, I guess he figured, like, he already knew. Well, he doesn't know our name, so I don't know. That is pretty stupid. <laughs> Probably not the brightest idea, detective. No. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If the murderer did go through there, he or she was probably the last person who passed through. Well, there was us. It's possible that there was some evidence left behind in there. Oh, in the exit itself? What? Well, no one has a full alibi, I guess. Chance and Kazaki both saw each other for a while, but Chance was in the back kitchen around the time of the murder. She could have slipped away without being seen, or Kizaki could have gone to past the kitchen without her noticing. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that. Miss Bergstrom claimed she was working at the time, but there's no way to corroborate her story. Hmm. So all of them had an opportunity. But what about a means and a motive? Well, mm -hmm. I know Miss Bergstrom worked with her, so there's a possibility something happened there. Yeah. Um. Otherwise, I have no idea. <laughs> we need to figure out why someone would want Sarah dead in the first place. Although Kizaki seems to know her too, but I'm not sure how he knows her or why. Miss Bergstrom works for Biodev Imaging. Yes, here we go. This is a big one. Chance told me that a lot of people who work there like to come here to eat. Do you know what Miss Bergstrom does at Biodev Imaging? No. no. It probably wouldn't hurt to ask her. Well, I didn't it have the option. Hurt. It might hurt. Kizaki says he comes here all the time, but Chance claims that she's never seen him. Do you think he's lying? He's avoiding a lot of questions. I'm not sure if he's lying, though. Uh... I don't know. He seems honest enough, but he could very well be pretending. He doesn't seem honest. Why don't you test him, then? If he really comes here often, he'll be able to answer questions about this place without any problems. All right, I'll do that the next time I see him. And Chance has some anger issues, apparently. <laughs> Throwing coffee and all. <laughs> Throwing coffee at a guy just because he insulted her voice. Really? I'd hate to be that guy. <laughs> well, that's all you have to say? That was a great reaction. Still, one act of violence doesn't make her a murderer. It might be worth looking into it, though. Yeah, that's... If you can find a way to be tactful. Definitely a big mm -hmm. leap to just assume, oh, she has a bad temper, so she must have killed someone. Yeah. But no one recognizes the name Sarah Blackmore, although I'm kind of suspicious about that. I mean, He's if they're the killer, it. they're not going to admit to it. Well, naturally, the killer is going <laughs> to deny knowing her. Yeah, which is what I said. But if no one here seems to recognize her, she probably didn't want to be known. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what she was hiding. I'm not sure. Right, so we can ask more questions, I suppose. Keep digging. And we might be able to look for more evidence in the men's room. All right, you know, I'll do a quick save before I go in there. Because he said that there might be evidence. All right, and then the next episode, we'll go and check out the men's room. In case this leads to a bad uh, route, I just want to make sure we're saved up. Sounds good. All right, until next time, folks. Bye.